everybody so it's Monday evening welcome to another week of meals here on the seesaw and we're starting off the week with a mac and cheese and ham um, dish so I sometimes make this in little individual portions but I've just made a large pot tonight as we're all eating together so I just cooked up some they didn't have macaroni at the shops but I did have some of the small I don't know if I can actually spot it in here in Caleb's you can see it, the small shell pasta so I cooked up um, half a pack of that while that was cooking, I just put two teaspoons of spread, like buttery spread, in a saucepan. This is a really quick and simple way to do this. Um, when it was melted, I added in the ham and just sort of let the ham, not really cooking the ham, but just sort of letting it um, crisp up just a little bit. Then I took 500 mils of milk, I used semi-skimmed. And I took a little bit of that out and mixed it with two tablespoons of corn flour to make a nice paste. So when the ham had been in, in with the buttery spread for a couple of minutes, I just poured the um, corn flour paste and the rest of the milk in and just kept stirring and stirring until it comes up to a boil and it thickens up. Like so also the corn flour does a good enough job of thickening it. Um, then I added to that um, a good handful or two of frozen peas. Um, some grated cheddar, I probably used about 75 grams of cheddar, I suppose, something like that, um, grated, and um, some chopped herbs. So I had some herbs from the herb garden and I just chopped those and put them through. Then um, mix that all together until it was nicely combined, stirred it through the pasta, put it into the casserole dish, and then I blitzed up two slices of bread in the food processor, sprinkled the breadcrumbs over the top, put um, a little sprinkle more of grated cheese on top of that, and then just put it under the grill for about five minutes to, to melt the cheese and crisp up the breadcrumbs. So I'm having mine with, I wanted salad, but there are no salad leaves. So <laughs> this week there was no lettuce of any kind at the grocery store. Um, I went into two different stores and then I walked down to the village shop today and he didn't have lettuce either. So I've got cucumber, tomato, beetroot and pickled onions. Caleb's got his, and this is the sort of little pot that I would make individual servings in. So he's got some cucumbers with his. And then there you can see the rest of that pot ready for Tony to take what he wants from it. Um, yeah, so a really simple way to make a cheese sauce for a mac and cheese or a shells and cheese with ham and peas. And that's our Monday night supper. Hi everybody, so for Tuesday night we've got a freezer special. So this is the Aldi chicken king kebab, the peri peri one. So you just took, cook it in a foil tray. It's got these two, if you can see they're like wooden lollipop sticks, wooden skewers through it. So when it's finished, you just kind of stand it up and pull off the chicken. It looks like it's either chicken breast or perhaps chicken thigh meat um, with piri piri seasoning. I've got some pickled onion, beetroot, tomato and cucumber. And then the rice is just a rice that I do in the oven. Um, because I didn't have long grain rice, which cooks easily on the stovetop for me in basmati, I struggle more with. So I've cooked it this way instead. So I just melted a little bit of butter, cooked up some red onion until it was softened then I poured in some rice just let it coat in the butter and um, just while I was getting everything else ready and then I poured so rice I probably had about a cup and a third of rice a cup and a quarter something like that um, then I added a chopped red pepper some um, black pepper and some dried parsley leaves and then um, I poured over that um, three cups of chicken stock um, Push, um, stirred it all together, poured it into a casserole dish, covered it with foil, popped it in a 180 oven for 25 minutes, took the foil off, sprinkled a little bit of grated cheese over the top, put it back in the oven just to let the cheese melt for like five minutes. So the rice is actually nice and fluffy and well cooked in the stock. It's got the seasoning through it, it's got little bits of onions and peppers and cheesy toppings. So it's quite a simple way to do rice and we've got that with this chicken king kebab and a little bit of side salad. Hi everybody, so it is Wednesday evening and we've got simple little chicken wraps with potatoes this evening. So these are just little diced potatoes cooked in the active fryer. And the wraps have got some grilled chicken which was seasoned with some of the Nando's uh, marinade. And then we've got lettuce, cucumber, tomato, I've got a little bit of mayonnaise on mine and some grated cheese in there as well. So that's the chicken. 
Um, this is a greaseproof piece here because it I grilled them so it gets quite sticky where the marinade comes off. Um, but that is the rest of the chicken there for Tony to make his up. So chicken wraps with um with act fry diced potatoes for our Wednesday night tea. Hi everybody, it's Thursday evening. We've just been outside to do our clap for the NHS. And now we're going to enjoy a big pot of pasta ragu. So this is a simple, quite rich ragu. It's um, onion, celery and carrot, which I just sauteed off until they were softened. Then I add a package of mince, um, let that all cook together for about five minutes until the mince was nice and browned. Then I stirred in about mm, 75 mils of red wine and just let that bubble away for five minutes to burn off the alcohol. Um, and then I added two cans of chopped tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato puree and a little bit of water just to get it to the consistency I wanted. And then let that bubble away for half an hour. And then I cooked the pasta and when the pasta was ready just combined it all together. And we're going to have that topped with some grated cheese and some garlic bread slices on the side. So a nice big pot of pasta for Thursday night dinner. Hi everybody, so it's Good Friday, start of the Easter weekend and we are having enchiladas tonight. So this is family favourite or mine and Tony's favourite. So inside the enchiladas I've got chicken, um, onion, I didn't have any mushrooms, sometimes I put mushrooms in. I also didn't have any jalapenos which I sometimes put in. Um, there's some cheese and then there's fajita seasoning, garlic powder and a little bit of cayenne pepper rolled up into the tortillas these are the mid-size wraps so they're not the huge wraps that you use for making like a burrito or a wrap for like in place of a sandwich and they're not the mini ones that you have for children these are the in-between ones so if you buy like the old el paso tortillas that's that size that we've used for this and then a jar of the enchilada sauce that i get from amazon poured over the top with some grated cheese just popped in the oven for about 20 minutes got it with a simple salad of some romaine lettuce baby plum tomatoes some pickled onions and some cucumber now caleb doesn't like enchiladas he does like tacos but not enchiladas um, so he has got a piece of salmon that um, we had in our muscle food um, box this month um, so it was just a small piece there's two small pieces in the freezer so i've cooked those up he's got a piece of that with some uncle ben's rice some beetroot and some cucumber and he has got the last of the tortillas on the side so that's his and this is what tony and i are having enchiladas chicken enchiladas for good friday supper hi everybody so for saturday night supper we've gone mexican with fajita baked chicken with some mexican rice and tortilla chips we've also got some tortilla wraps to have with it so that is caleb's this is mine so you can see the whole chicken there so it's just some chicken breasts i pop them in a casserole dish sprinkle with a bit of salt and pepper put a little salsa over the top some chopped peppers and or sliced peppers and onions to give the fajita flavorings and then cook them for about half an hour when the chicken was cooked through i sprinkled over some cheese and some tortilla chips and uh, then just put them back in the oven while i made the rice so it's the microwave packet rice um, so really simple to put together, good Mexican flavours. If you don't like spice at all, you could just put some tomato passata on the top and then some um, peppers and onions and do it that way. Or you could, if you don't have salsa, you could take some passata and just season it or some chopped tomatoes and season it with some Mexican flavourings like tacos, um, taco mix, taco seasoning or fajita seasoning or even just some paprika garlic cumin and chili powder or something like that so there's lots of ways to make the saucy part of it um, but then just whatever vegetables you have but because i've called it fajita chicken we've got the peppers and onions to keep it quite classic so off to enjoy a mexican style saturday night fake away hi everybody so it is easter sunday we hope you've all had a lovely easter weekend we've still got monday to go but obviously very strange times but hopefully you've enjoyed some family time for those for you that are with family for those that are by yourselves hopefully you've had a chance to connect with some of your closest friends and family um, and enjoy the Easter weekend a little bit um, so we're ending our, our week with a roast dinner a chicken cooked in a crock pot all afternoon um, this is Caleb so he's got chicken with Yorkshire pudding steamed vegetables, roasty potatoes done in the active fryer 
and he wanted some stuffing um, with a roast chicken today so we've made up some quick so sage and onion stuffing and then we've got chicken gravy with it as well so that's Caleb's and that is mine I've just got a few extra potatoes and an extra Yorkshire pudding on mine but essentially the same as Caleb's so that's our end to our Easter Sunday we hope um, you've enjoyed this week of meals with us on the seesaw and we look forward to seeing you back here soon